I guess my work acts as a visual diary. Um, it is a way for me to essentially tell my story of my personal experience of mental health. Because it's such a therapeutic medium, it's the best appropriate method for me. It's nice to have like a hands-on medium because I find it quite a therapeutic way of working. So I came off Tufting on Instagram, which I feel is quite, it's a massive thing on Instagram at the minute. But I decided to buy a little needle punch and that's kind of when my Tufting journey started and was fascinated from day one and now it is essentially my career. I have complex PTSD or complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which comes about from multiple or long-term trauma. So that could be childhood trauma, abusive relationships. Um, I was once groomed by an older man and things like that. And it's those incidents that have kind of shaped who I am now and it can affect like my sense of self. Some days you feel fine, but if there's any kind of trigger in your environment, it can all just flare up and suddenly you can kind of lose yourself. For a long time, I was just ignoring it. Having a diagnosis, I think is actually quite reassuring because it's just like, actually, I understand why I have these certain reactions. It was nice to just be able to have this diagnosis and this, I guess, just series of letters that I can tell to someone and they can then go look up online what it actually means and it means that people can probably better understand me. At the period earlier this year that I was experiencing quite a bad, a bad patch in mental health, I actually stopped making for a couple of months. I'm glad that I was seeking treatment at the time that I did because I feel like if I hadn't done, I might not be continuing my art because I would just have too much doubt around it all and just not feel comfortable doing it. It's much better to just keep my hands busy so it distracts the brain and it gives me respite throughout the day and I guess just gives me like a nice coping mechanism of like, there's just so many things to think about when you're creating. It's like the planning process, drawing up, um, selecting yarn colours and whatnot and having that tactility because it's one of the things with PTSD or complex PTSD that they recommend is having some kind of grounding method. So like some people have stones that they hold and they rub and that kind of brings them back to the present and things like that. But I think having such a tactile medium also acts in a similar, quite similar kind of way. C collecting up the yarns and things like that, feeling the textures, what fiber content it is and things like that. That's kind of my grounding method, I suppose. Because I always struggled with being given a stone or I had like a little scent bag. And they never kind of had the right effect of like calming me down, but like, Give me a ball of yarn and that, that's it. I'm just calm. <laughs> it's all about kind of organic shapes and like comparison between disease and doubt and the idea that doubt is a disease that continues its hold over us by morphing and shifting and changing. A feeling of PTSD or depression or whatnot, you wouldn't really describe it as a soft feeling. So it's this weird paradox between a very soft outcome, but a very harsh thought. It's like, why is there this really harsh phrase with this lovely soft texture, and why are these, what some people would perceive as like quite lovely, beautiful, bright colours, when the piece is about dark mental health and things like that, and these strange organic forms, which have like splices of like sharp triangles, almost like fragments of glass or something coming through it. I suppose it keeps people on their toes when they're engaged with the work. There's a lot to play with, there's a lot to look at, there's a lot to take in. There's a lot of people who will still really refrain from discussing mental health and especially discussing it with other people. So I think going to an exhibition with a group of friends or something and seeing a work like mine would hopefully open some kind of conversation and things like that and just kind of bring down the taboo factor. It's a very dynamic piece of art and I think it says a lot more than a flat painting would because there is a surface texture and you can see the handmade element to it so you understand that there is a person making it behind it. It isn't this it isn't a perfect commercial outcome. And I think it's important to remember that handmade element and remember that at the end of the day, artists are people who are going through stuff just like everybody else. It helps us, I suppose. It kind of, it makes it easier to talk about these topics. It's, it's good to be vulnerable, but sometimes it's easier to be vulnerable through the creation of artwork and the presentation of artwork. <laughs>